Hey everyone, it's Angie Coley, and today I wanted to talk about competition. So I had a coaching student that I was talking to last week who was afraid to start a business in a particular field because of what they perceived to be too much competition. Um, I'll, I'll just use an example that I've talked about before is, you know, if you wanted to make recipe videos online. There are a lot of people that are making recipe videos. So why would you want to quote unquote compete in that? And I have a challenge with that particular line of thinking, a bit of a reframe. One, if you see competition in a marketplace, if you see a lot of people advertising, if you see a lot of products out there, it typically means that there are a lot of people spending money in that niche. And that means that you could carve out your own small slice of that somewhere in there. Uh, a lot of competition is usually a sign of a healthy market, meaning there's a lot of interest. It's not a flash in the pan, uh, a fad. I can't, uh, one, of, one of the big marketers I follow mentions how Scrabble jewelry was a big fad about 10 years ago or so. And you wouldn't want to build a whole business around that, even though it would have very low competition. Do you get what I'm saying? So if you wanted to enter the baking market and talk about recipes and make videos, you could do that. All you have to do is be you, find your angle, find your voice. Look guys, it doesn't matter if you say the same thing that's been said a million times before. There are no new ideas under the sun at this point. We've been around for Thousands and thousands and thousands of years, we've been talking and rationalizing and philosophizing for almost that exact same amount of time. And the basic principles of the way we operate as human beings still haven't changed. We react to story. We react to emotional connection. Uh, we tend to react based on... Uh, it, it's, it's a lot easier to motivate people based on fear than based on gain of pleasure, like fear of loss is always more powerful than uh, anticipating pleasure, but they both still work. And in all this time, probably everything that you've ever wanted to talk about has been talked about multiple times by multiple people. And that's okay, because none of those people have your unique experience. They haven't lived life the way you have in the order you have. They haven't made the choices that you have. They don't have the background that you have. They may share one or two of these things in common with you, but that still doesn't give them the whole rich kaleidoscope perspective that you have. And you may be the one person that gets out there and says the same thing that they've heard a hundred times in the one way that makes them get it. The one way that helps them click and really grok an idea, so to speak. So don't be afraid of competition. Don't be afraid of saying what's already been said. Worry about your passion, serving your people, and bringing your own skills and observations and opinions to things. That is how you build a loyal following. So I'm Angie Coley, and I'm reminding you that competition is a good sign, and let's go kick some ass.